I needed a new PC laptop and I didn't want to spend a lot of money. So I picked up this. What's happening, Panda Nation? Peter Von Panda here. I just picked up a new PC laptop, and I got this one from Best Buy. Now, I wanted something that was going to be a little snappier, maybe a little better than a lot of your cheap PC laptops, but I also wanted something that was going to be somewhat of a desktop replacement, and then the third, but maybe a critical criteria for all of us, is that it had to be affordable. So you can obviously get some really sweet laptops that are a thousand bucks, twelve hundred bucks, are competitive with MacBooks, but I wanted something that was going to be a pretty good workhorse, and yet be pretty inexpensive. Now this is a 15 inch display here and it is a Lenovo. So it's kind of a higher end brand. I used to use Lenovo's for work, which is really nice. The top here is really nice looking. It's like a kind of a thin applique, but it kind of looks like a brushed stainless steel. Now the rest of this chassis is all plastic and as a 15 inch notebook, it's gonna be fairly big. What I wanted is something of a desktop replacement so that I could do some work, put some screen side by side. I didn't want something super compact. It's not something I'm probably gonna travel with much. And actually because I I have a desktop computer i wanted something that potentially i could just replace my desktop with plug in my monitor my keyboard those types of things and run everything off of here and just have one computer now it does have some sharp angles on it not sharp in terms of uncomfortable just kind of sharp design angles it kind of looks a little bit like a stealth fighter you can see the sharp edges there we do have rubber feet all this plastic right here is just much cheaper matte gray finish now the thing about this laptop is that it does not have the hardware that you probably expect. It does have a 256 gig SSD and it does have eight gigs of RAM, but it's running an AMD processor, Ryzen 3 3200U processor, which is kind of a core i3, i5 competitor as I understand it. But what makes this also more interesting is that it has the AMD graphics processor integrated on the motherboard. And why I like that too is because I just downloaded the new Command & Conquer Remastered and I thought, well, it'd be nice to be able to play that on this laptop. So what you can see here is we do have a matte finish screen. It's kind of that cheap dark plastic around the frame here, obviously a webcam there. But down here, we actually get a pretty nice looking keyboard and the panel here is probably what's most impressive. It has a similar applique on top that looks a little bit like that brushed metal, but it's very smooth. We have a very large trackpad here, island style keyboard. And as you can see, all those keys are a matte plastic and then we do have because of the size of the computer a separate keypad right there so if you're doing a lot of number crunching that will be nice now i do want to show you here if you look at this hinge it's kind of got an interesting look because i think i can bend this thing all the way flat so if that's important to you or you're going to be looking down on your computer especially if you're working in your lap sometimes you want that screen tilted all the way back or maybe sometimes you use a stand that lifts the laptop up like this that's very nice you do have what looks like an sd card slot there you have headphone jack right there on this side we have three USB ports right there, HDMI, and then the power port right there. Looks like we have a little light for the power button, and that power button is right up here. Now, I do want to show you the power cord here because we get a nice big Lenovo block, two-prong outlet. We have a fairly long cord here, five or six feet, and then that single-prong plug right there on the side. Now, that's a quick look at it, and I do want to set this up, play around with it a little bit, and then give you my final thoughts. So I've been using the laptop for a while, and one of the things that I really like is the pseudo premium look. The strategic placement of the metal-like finish on the outside and around the keyboard give you the feeling of a higher-end laptop while keeping the cost pretty low. Now, however, the keyboard flex and the cheap texture of the keys reminds you that this is a bargain laptop. I also like the large-ish trackpad. It's very slippery like you want it. However, when you click it, it does have a lot of travel and does flex a little bit. The speakers are also nice. They're hidden in the hinge and give you a better sound than the really budget laptops. On cheap laptops, sometimes I have to max out the volume on the video as well as on the laptop itself, and I never had to do that on this one. Now the big screen is really nice and the matte finish works well to reduce reflections. I think for watching videos, playing games, or even doing actual work, this is the way to go. I've also cranked up the performance as much as possible and as a result, the battery only seems to last about three hours on a full charge, which is fine, but won't satisfy you if you need to use this on the road. However, in terms of performance, from an average user perspective, things run pretty well. YouTube videos don't stutter, the tabs open and load easily, I was even able to play Command & Conquer without any issues except that the artificial intelligence on the gameplay is really, really tough to beat. 
Um, I was able to watch a couple of videos on a couple different tabs at the same time, which is really nice. And overall, I really think that this is a laptop that you're going to like because it just runs like you would expect. And I never noticed anything that really annoyed me. No stutters, stops, pauses, freezes, things like that. So I think that's a really big win. Now this laptop is not ultra portable, but works well as a desktop alternative. And I think it's a really good value at $340. So you don't have to spend a lot of money to get a very capable, productive machine. So if you want to pick this up, I'll put a link to it in the description below. Peter Brown Panda, out.